Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. This particular session is basically designed for AI assistant for data analysis and machine learning using Python pandas and Sketch library. So guys, Sketch is an AI code writing assistant designed specifically for pandas user. Okay. So by grasping the context of your data, it will be improved the significance of the recommendations. Okay. So what we can do with the help of Sketch. So guys, if you want to learn about the static states or you want to perform data analysis, feature engineering, machine learning concept, and Python Panda, or any information about the data, so this package will help you a lot. So guys, uh, first of all, let me import the necessary library. So first of all, I'm going to import Pandas as ND, and I need a uh, Sketch, right? So in case this particular package is not installed in your system, so it's simple you can install pip install this library. And let me import, you know, some warnings in case if I'm getting any kind of warning, so I want to ignore those warnings. Easy. Now, guys, first of all, I am going to read the Excel, right? So let's say superstore.xlsx. So again, this package can easily interact with your Pandas data frame and whatever you want in terms of data, if you want to understand anything related to the data. So this package will help you a lot. So let me show you, you know, some records. So I have these rows, right? So let me ask some basic questions, okay? So DF and here directly you can use the sketch and ask. You can ask anything. Let's say, can you give me columns name? Okay, so look at this. So guys, right now I am getting an error. Too many columns, right? So maximum in this current version, we can use only the 20 columns. So let me do one thing. Let me import another library. Let's say import OS. With the help of OS, I am going to increase the column count. So OS.environ. And here I am using sketch max columns equal to let's say 30 column i want to use simple now i am asking this query again so you can see here the columns in the data frame are first of all index the second is row id order id and so on and so forth now i am going to change this prompt little bit in different way let's say and column name and its type in dictionary let me run this so guys, you can see here, right? So it is telling you the first column name is the index and the data type is integer. Second column is a row ID and it is also an integer. And we have order ID that is called object, order date that is called date and time, you know, sales, discount and profit in the form of flow. Very interesting. Now let me ask, you know, some more query. Let's say df.sketch.ask. I am saying give me shape of the data. Simple guys. So the shape of the data is 10,194 rows, 17 columns, right? So it is giving you, you know, some English this statement. Now, similarly, let me ask, you know, some different query for so sketch and ask. Now, let's say, can you display, can you display discrete and continuous column? Simple. All right, guys. So yeah, I can display the discrete and continuous column name of the data frame. So the discrete columns are this and the continuous variable like sales, quantity, discount, and profit. So these columns have a wide range of value and typically numerical or quantitative data. Interesting, guys. Now let me ask, let's say dm.sketch.ask. Let's say give me unique subcategory from the data. Let me run this. So guys, you can see here how many subcategory here. There are 17 unique subcategory in my data frame. And these are the names. We can check, let's say, manually if you are really interested. So simple subcategory and number of units. So I have 17, right? So it means, let's say, I have validated this response as well. Similarly, df.sketch.ask. Now let me, you know, tell you some in different way, which states hold highest sales and display the total okay so you can you know design your prompt accordingly whatever you want 
So guys, it is telling me, uh, you know, what is the process to find out the, you know, highest sales? Let me, you know, let me ask this query. Let's say, can you show me, let's say, can you, or can you display highest sales? Okay, it's highest sales based on state column. Let me write in different way. So again, guys, it is telling me the same thing. Okay. So, all right. Now, let me ask, you know, df.sketch.ask means what is the distribution? Distribution of segment in sales. Let me, you know, ask this query. So again, it is telling you the distribution of the segment in sales can be visualized by creating a bar plot or pie chart. This will show the proportion of the sales of each segment. So, so there are three segments in my data that is called consumer, home office, and corporates. All right. Now, similarly, let's say df.sketch.ask. Show me reason why sales. So it will tell you the process. Let's say how you can achieve the reason why sales, how you can find out the distribution of the segment. Okay. In some layman way. All right. Based on your data set. But remember one thing, in case, let's say you want to achieve, can you write a code with me or can you, you know, generate some visualization for me? So this library is very capable to show you that part as well. That part we will be discussed later. Similarly, let me ask, you know, more comprehensive way. Let's say, which, which is the top selling subcategory? Let me ask this. So guys. The top selling subcategory is vendors. We can verify as well, right? Okay, so df dot group by, and here based on the subcategory, right? So let me write based on the subcategory, and I am going to find out the quantity and the sum. So let me do the reset index, and now I am going to let me run this. Okay, now let me sort as well. So sort the values. Okay, and by equal to quantity, and let me sort the data equal to, you know, equal to false. So guys, you can see here, top selling subcategory is vendors. Now, similarly, let me ask one more thing. DF.sketch.ask, which state has highest number of sales? Simple. So guys, this is California. We can check as well, right? So DF, that is called state and value counts so you can see here from the california i have received more than 2000 order all right so guys anything you can ask you know from your data set and apart from your data set as well you can ask you know some more general query as i just mentioned this particular library will help you in terms of data analysis machine learning teacher engineering okay anything related to the data let me ask you know more you know, general queries from the data side. Let's say df.sketch.ask. So for an example, how can I learn data analysis? Okay, let me ask this query. Just like a chat GPT. So guys, this is giving you a high level details. Let's say start the basic. Before diving into the data analysis, it is important to have a strong foundation in statistics and programming. Make sure you have a good understanding of concept like uh, you know, central tendency, hypothesis testing, and also learn a programming like Python or R, which are commonly used for data analysis. The second thing is take online courses. The third is practice with real data set. And the fourth is learn data visualization. The fifth is join online communities. Very, very interesting, right? And focus on six, read books and blogs. Seven is attend workshop and conferences. It is practice, practice, practice. Right? Literally, this is insane, right? And let me, you know, ask, let's say, df.sketch.ask, you know, can you perform, can you perform summary statistics? Let's understand. So, guys, okay, yes, summary statistics can be performed on the data frame that is called df with the help of describe function. So, this describe function will give you, you know, Details like uh, of the statistics or summary statistics like mean, mode, median, standard deviation, and some other information. Interesting. And one more thing, let's say df.sketch.ask, you know, tell me how we can check, how we can check, we can check outlier 
in sales column and please write all these steps look at this so we'll see so guys interesting right to check the outlier in the sales column of the data frame you can follow these steps you can perform iqr or or you can use quantile function and this will give you the 25th percentile and 70th 75 percentile or maybe you can use this formula right very very interesting and use the log function to filter out any value in the sales column that fall outside the upper limit and lower limit right and that's how you know you can calculate let's say you know outlier you know some basic difference let me ask based on the chart so okay so how we can use heat map okay on this data set on this data and what is the difference what is the difference okay between heat map and tree map let's say so okay, again a heat map is a graphical representation of the data where the values are represented by different colors in the context of panda data frame a heat map can be used to visualize the correlation between different columns or variables in the data very very you know in layman way it is going to explain this can help identify patterns relationship between the variables as well as a tree map on the other hand it is a type of chart of display historical data using nested rectangles the size and color of each rectangle represent different value within the data set and the pandal data frame a tree map can be used to visualize the distribution of the data with different categories or subcategories and guys this is the main difference the main difference of a heat map and tree map is the type of the data they are used to represent a heat map basically is used for numerical data while a tree map is used for categorical or hierarchical data guys literally it's a very very interesting right and let me ask you know some more query just like this so sketch dot ask let's say what is the impact what is the impact of null value in the data let's understand so guys again very long answer but very more comprehensive the impact of null value in the data can be very depending on the specific data set and analysis being performed so in general null value can affect the accuracy of the data as they represent missing or unknown information so guys bias result right reduce the sample size so they are you know telling you some potential impact of the null value in the data set lots of information all right now you know let's say let me ask from the feature engineering let's say sketch dot ask please write all the steps by which i can perform feature engineering on the data set let's understand you know the response so guys again identify the target variables right explore the data this is the you know basic concept let's say if someone is asking hey can you tell me let's say what kind of step i have to perform to follow the uh, or to perform the feature engineering so simple handling missing value handling outlier encoding categorical variables create new feature feature scaling dimensionality reduction right just like a pca okay feature selection test and validate lots of stuff all right and uh, similarly let's say if i am asking df dot sketch dot ask okay well, you can see right this is a very interesting and basics step okay we have to follow for the data transformation all right so let me okay again the spelling is wrong then we'll see yeah identify the problem or question you want to answer with the data clean the data and removing any irrelevant information fixing the error handling missing value explore the data visualization patterns and trends transforming the data by convert it into the format and that is suitable for data analysis analyze the data using the statistical method and communicate the findings to the other thorough reports and presentation so a lot of things right similarly if you want to understand you know what does the uh, central limit theorem okay so simple what does central limit theorem simple so again guys it is explaining about the you know central limit theorem so similarly let's say if i'm asking hey can you tell me what is uh, anova and what are the steps we have to we have to follow 
to apply the ANOVA. Let's understand. Look at this, right? You can understand, you know, what is ANOVA, why the ANOVA is very important in terms of data. Similarly, let's say, you know, we can ask, you know, some more query. So you can apply, you know, different, different query and try to, you know, uh, you know, learn from this library. This will help you if you are coming from the data science or if you are facing any interview or maybe if you are performing any data analysis concept, this library guys will literally will help you a lot. Look at this. Okay. Or you know, a couple of questions or let me ask you okay, in order to understanding the features of this library. So what can I do with the sketch library? Let's understand. So guys, the sketch library is a powerful for data analysis and visualization. It allows you to easily create charts, graphs, and other visualization representation of data. Some specific things you can do with this library, create bar chart, line chart, scatter plot, and other type of visualization. You can add, you know, some titles, some labels on your chart. You can customize your chart. You can easily create, you know, some interactive data set or explore the interact with your data. You can perform create dashboard and display multiple chart and graph in one place. You can perform statistical analysis. You can use machine learning algorithm. Let's ask one query from the machine learning. So let's say df dot sketch dot ask. So uh, can you tell me how can I perform perform logistic regression in Python? Let's ask this. To perform the logistic regression, you can use Scikit library, and here are the steps to follow: import the necessary library. Or let me ask in different way. Let's say, can you write statistics topics which will helps in data analysis and machine learning, right? And machine learning. Let's understand. So, guys, you can see here, right? Descriptive statistics you have to learn. Inferential statistics, correlation and regression, time series analysis, cluster analysis, okay, principal uh, you know component analysis that is called PCA, ANOVA, data visualization, data processing, feature selection, model evaluation, cross validation, lot of things, guys. Okay, and you can you know play with this library. And the last query I am asking in for today's session, let's say, just who is Mori? Just understand, right? We'll see. So, guys, again, just like an AI, right? Without more context, it is impossible to determine who is Modi. It could prefer a person, a company, or something else, but please provide more information to specific this answer. So, guys, you can try, you can import any data set and you can try different, different queries with the help of a sketch library and try to learn a lot of things from this library. All right. So, that's all in the session and in the next session i will guide you let's say how you can play with the data with the help of pandas and you know maybe some visualization library all right or in order to understand this particular library please load any data set and try to play with this okay in case if you are finding any difficulty in order to use this library please let me know in the comment box all right and in the next session we will be discussed how we can write the code based on the pandas how we can understand you know the visualization using this library and we will see this how this library will work on plotly and pandas and matplotly all right so for this session thanks for watching and have a great day